everyone and welcome to Norris Cove. I'm Yoshida and I'm sure you can tell by the title what we're going to be talking about today. Um, I'm, I know flips can be kind of long. I'm going to try to keep mine very short. Um, this is my VDS planner. I got this back in July and I love it. It's the Undyed. I think it's the Janet Undyed. I think I was watching. I can't remember whose channel, but if you need to know, I'll let you know how I decided to order um, for the specs of it all. And um, I love it. I didn't get a back pocket, but we're just going to hop right in. So if that's something that you'd be interested in, stay tuned. Okay, you guys. Let's, so let's hop in. Um, I'm trying to be quick. I'm going to try to remember everything from everywhere but a lot of this is me <laughs> um these cards over here i believe i got from infinite lotus or either sessa v um this is just my card i send it out with um orders also i just put it in here in case someone i'm out and someone wants to check out my site i have a few here business cards my number's not on there but uh, my email and web address and all that uh, this is from Peach Palm. Uh, let's see. Let's get in this first pocket here. And let me say that you have the card slots. That was one of the things I was interested in. These are like a regular card slots. Um, you have these two side pockets here. You have a pocket back here and another pocket here. Also, I have my old fly leaf in here from my Moterm. Um, just because... I didn't see an option for a fly leaf, at least I didn't, um, so I wish I would have gotten one, but anyway, <clears throat> in this side pocket here, I just keep this inspirational card, um, I think the shop closed, it sold this, um, but that's that, um, and then this is like a test list I made a while ago, and I have more than one, one is like daily and one says business, but this is the daily one. And this is from the Half Unicorn. This is like a vinyl sticker. It came with an order. And just the inbox zero from cloth and paper. I just kind of added that. I saw someone said it was working for them. So I just stuck it in there. And here I have just some of my ice milk stickers. And these morning and evening routine cards from cloth and paper. Um, I have like a clear sticky note on it or whatever divider note and I was supposed to write on it so I could take it off I just never did I saw someone suggest that Ali clip um their collab with cloth and paper now let me say this disclaimer I showed these dashboards on Instagram and I made them myself through Canva so because I use like Canva Im images and some Pinterest images mixed I couldn't remember which was what um I'm not selling these but I'm highly considering making um, them some freebies to my newsletter friends or whatever. But um, I'm going to work on see how I can fix it so that I can have just a select couple of sizes. Uh, but there's no guarantee. Just depending on how I feel and, and if I get the time. But So I made these, um, these dashboards through Canva. And this is just the French word for balance. And I have the definition here. And then I wrote out fine balancing your everyday routines. Never let the scales tip you over. This is cloth and paper. That's the front and back. Um, this is my inbox. I made this inbox dashboard a couple years ago for myself. Um, I don't think I ever put it in the shop to sell, but I just made it for myself. And I like to have these right here on the side. It's another inbox sticky note. And I believe this came from Poi and Hun. Queen Hun and May. There it is. May Paper Co. And it's M A A E. I love her shop. And I think I mentioned her um, on my Instagram stories or somewhere I mentioned it. I forgot. Um, this is the task delegation insert by Cloth and Paper. Here's the goals by the planner spot. I love how she explains it and I actually try to do it. I just don't check in regularly with it. I have to watch your video again to see how to use it. Um, this is another dashboard that I made and this is just introducing myself to my calendar and I kind of left everything the same. So it just says monthly calendar, um, write the plan and make it simple, plan the life you want. 
and then we get into my calendars um these i made myself for me um i never sold them because they were time consuming and by the time i really completed them it was like march february march so i didn't see the point but um i may or may not be making some for 2023 and so this is my september how i decorated it go went in and used some of our floral stickers from my shop um some of my icons from my shop and that's it and then i have this uh, we have tomorrow's for a reason and that is from planner aesthetic my good friend over at planner aesthetic this is october i made a little note that i had a cardiologist appointment this uh month and i did i need to take a picture of this i keep forgetting but um here's my october layout i did do it in my a6 haven't done it in my half letter or my business planner but these stickers here are from peach palm all of the deco, deco stickers are from peach palm these quotes are from a glittery life plans and this is i got last this is something i got last year it's pumpkin time and hello fall they are foil stickers and the i made a note of the highlighter that i was using which is this one so i just put ml beige because that's the mile liner and i think it looks pretty cute i don't do a lot of deco i mainly just put deco like in my monthly and oh yeah and this sticker is from my shop and no one ever buys them so i like them so i just put it there and then i decided i wanted to kind of keep it more simple i have my goals over here and all the icons are from my shop i haven't done november of course and then I can't remember where I got this insert from. If you've seen this insert and you know where it comes from, let me know because I'm ready for 2023 of this. This, I really love this insert. Um, I kind of do a little pre-planning with this. And oddly enough, I like this horizontal opposed to the vertical ones. Like I've seen people do the vertical ones, but I like this better for horizontal because I don't have a really busy life. And I don't need a lot to list. So I could just, I do like here, I put down that I had COVID. Um, I didn't really do anything for February. I did like I got my taxes in March. Um, I was highlighting some days. Um, of course, I put birthdays, anniversaries, all that. Um, I see I wrote down when I got my oil change. Um, put down birthdays of my friends or whatever. Again, um, I put down that I got restarted with Weight Watchers, uh, my P.O. box was due or whatever. Um, just, I babysat my nephew and I blocked that out that was on there. Uh, my niece's birthday and then I listed that I had COVID in my hospital stay. So that was just basically let me know at the time that I had off the dates. Uh, I just enjoyed this insert. And then so this is October. So the end of the year gets a little busy from this last quarter gets busy for me. So. Um, and I know I'm missing something in November and I actually need to put in, I need to take this, um, highlighter and put in my aunt's 20th birthday party. We have a salon, ugly sweater party and a salon dinner. So I just put some dots in there to highlight that. This I got from Cat Espresso and I think, um, I got a couple of other things in here from her, but um, after looking on the site, I think this, uh, the planner spot was mentioned in it. And then this, of course, is from Sweet Caress, but I like this because it's trifold, so you can put your sticky notes, because I have sticky notes all over the place, but can you see? Yeah, I like that. I can add sticky notes and just close it up, and it's, this is a pocket, so I love that. <clears throat> this is a yearly um, dashboard of all the months I made for myself. I actually need to put a sticker or something here. And yeah, I love that. Here's the dashboard that I made in this carriage. And I did it to print on the front and back, but my printer for some reason was dragging it. So I had to print them separate, <clears throat> excuse me, and glue them together. So it just has Norris Cove courage, have the courage to do hard things. And then it just breaks down. I just did a little summary of where does courage come from. Courage can come from many sources. Courage comes from believing in your mind. You can accomplish what seems out of reach. Courage comes from tackling the most difficult task first by setting the emotion att attached 
to fear aside. Do hard things. Believe you can detach emotions. And that's just the breakdown of those. We all have faced obstacles in our life, but somehow we have managed to have the courage and faith to get through them. Have the courage to keep going. So I wrote all that, created all of that. Um, this is an Ollie clip and a little sticky flag from cloth and paper. Oh, all of the dividers are from cloth and paper. Here's another dashboard that I made. This says monthly, monthly plans. And again, the same statement, write the plan and make it simple, plan the life you want. And I just stuck some sticky notes back there. Um, I made this half page insert for myself to kind of go with my monthly. I'm trying to do better at planning content. Um, it is not in the shop. I just try to play with it a little bit because I love half inserts. And then this should be in my shop. This is the monthly brain dump. And so I'm trying to go back to like pre-planning for the month. So it kind of gives me a pre-plan for the month. And it's front and back. And then I created this monthly, which probably will be in the shop um, this week. End, but it is basically a month on one page. I wanted to have something to plan content. Now, I do have like the monthly admin from Cloth and Paper, but I wanted something where I could just list whatever I wanted. And then, of course, I love a good note section. But um, so I kind of color coded, but it was looking a little janky to me. So, but anywho, um, so what I did was I just redid October. I wanted to make it real plain. And this is my salon section. I just have those two pinned together because it's holding this here. And this card is from Cloth and Paper. And this is the salon section. Same thing, salon schedule, plan the work and work the plan. Now, this is just my salon schedule. I wrote down, I have a half a sheet of where these are just some things that I need to get. This is like going to be a little running to-do list. So like when I cut inserts, this is what's left for this planner. So instead of throwing the paper away, I decided to just keep it. So I just use that for like a little running um, product list that I need. And so I try to keep at least two months in here because some people like to plan um, a month ahead and I can actually just catch up my people. Um, these inserts, these hourly inserts, again, I can't remember where I got these from. Uh, these may be either Simple and Trendy Co, Paper Test Designs, or maybe Infinite Lotus, but it's not really looking Infinite Lotus-y, so I'm not sure. I'm sorry. I got to go through my downloads, and then I can tell you. And then I got into the cloth and paper ones. I just ordered some more, and this is what I originally used for my salon schedule. Um, then I saw someone had posted, excuse the whiteout, I messed up my dates, but I saw someone post that they had... Here's um, supposed to be the first page. So it comes like that. And these, I saw that these were bolder. And I said, I don't think I have these. These must be updated. So I think these are new. So I just switched back over to these for now. And then when I run out, if I don't have the money, I'll have a printout. Um, and this is new to my plan of the intentional planning dashboard from Cloth and Paper. This kind of helped you with your intentional planning. And I got it because I really wanted to be a little more intentional in my planning. So now we're into my weekly section. This is my favorite dashboard that I've created. And it just says weekly plans, same thing. I just love kind of retro stuff a little bit. Then I have another half page insert from cloth and paper. And this is how they are. Trigger list from the planner spot. And this is in her freebie for her newsletter. And then we get into the horizontal weekly. Here we go, y'all. Here's the disclaimer. <laughs> I've been struggling with weekly, like what layout I really like. I found that the vertical, love vertical layout because I'm more of a lister. The vertical, the normal vertical, pretty much every shop has. I even have some, uh, everybody has them where you have the um, pretty much either a calendar on the left with your top three or whatever. And then you have like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, or either Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and then Sunday. And I was using that, but I just wasn't liking the look and I had got them dated before. That was like my go-to, like loved them. But then I felt like I started to need more room. So then I went to a long vertical. I made one, I got one from Simply and Trendy Co. I got one from somewhere else. But then I found that I was making up stuff like it was too much on my day so i had to cut that out so that's where i started getting confused and i've never been a horizontal person but i saw so many people loved this insert from cloth and paper 
So, I think I stated in my week of playing with me, I was watching Tiffany Plants, and she was kind of like breaking things up. And I said, okay, the horizontal will work for me. So, I think either I ordered these or already had these. I can't remember. But, anywho. So, I started back using these. But then I said, oh, I need to break up my days. So, I had already made my own. And I was using these. So, this is where it's light. And I was loving these. This is the other half of the week. This is actually this week. I was loving this. I said, yes, this is exactly what I need. I can break up my day. It's perfect. Um, then I started to realize, well, maybe I should have moved this line over. It's already shorter. But, um... I did like it, but then it was looking a little jumbled and janky. Like, it's, but I realized it was giving me list form in my mind, so I was like, okay, I could, I can really do that. But I did enjoy this one, and I just had to figure out how to use these spots, and I just know that I needed to add certain things. So yeah, it was working, and it was able to be minimal for me. Also, I have another half page here, which is kind of like just a brain dump, just a monthly brain dump, weekly brain dump. And I was trying to figure out a way to kind of like incorporate things I need to do for my business, home, all that in one. So this will, should be moving, matter of fact. Let's move that here. So here we go. So again, like I said, so then I used this plant, this insert from me. I'm like, okay, cool. I like it. Um, but then I ordered some weekly admins to go along with my con monthly content planning that I was showing you guys back here. Here we go. I think we're back here. Yeah, so my intention was to kind of put this with this to help me see, like take it from the month, add it to the week. Well, I decided it is perfect here in the middle of my week because when I'm looking at my week, I'll see this and then I'll get more of, that's how y'all are getting this flip <laughs> because this is here. So this is the weekly admin from Cloth and Paper. I didn't think I was, listen, I thought I had no use for this. This is the box that I skipped, which was like January. I ended up buying it off of the buy sell trade group, but it came unpunched in half letter. I have no use for this in half letter, but listen to me. This is perfect for me for my content planning and my business planning. As you can see, I've gotten stuff off my list. Matter of fact, I have to check off when that's tomorrow. Today, did I do any designing today? No, but I. I did film my budget, so I got that done. So I only had like two things to do today. And um, I'm actually, tomorrow was supposed to be Wednesday. I'm supposed to film this, but it's, I've uploaded my budget. I was like, hey, I got some extra time. I want to get this flip out the way. So I'm scheduling this and it'll be posted on Wednesday. So this, look, I'm getting stuff done ahead of time. So this is perfect. And my task, I got them over here. I'm checking them off. My habits, this is going to help me with the content. And I'm just listing the days. This, this insert here, oh my God, I think I ordered more. Okay, enough. So I've already kind of pre-planned for next week, like adding dots. I will be showing this on camera. This may be a Thursday's video, but we'll get to that. Anywho, so yeah, this is the other half of my insert with... I can just label everything. So I'm having a time with weekly. I'm going to spend a lot of time on weekly, y'all. So then I said, okay, let me give, yes, this is this week. It's the same thing. This is this week as well. Yes, this is this week as well. I got a lot of weeklies in here. But I, I wanted to see what catches my eye, what works for me. So cloth and paper, this came in a sub box. I'm not for sure. I'm thinking it was the June box. When I first got it, I said, hey, I think this is going to work for me. I started trying to write in it and my mind was going bing, 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 bing. My ADHD was acting up and I was like, oh no, this is not going to work for me. It's too small. So then in the process of me trying to figure out what works for me, I am a vertical girl. I said, let me give this one more try. Same thing. Boom, 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 boom. I was like, mm, this just ain't working. It's just too small. So last night, I think it was, I said, let me give it one more try. Let me just move some things around. I don't have to necessarily use it because I realized I need a timed schedule and I need a to-do list and then anything extra over here. And this is it. This is 
I think this is what's going to work for me. So as I was explaining on my Instagram last night, I sometimes like hear my salon section when I'm making doctor's appointments. I go to my salon section first to see do I have the time for the appointment. Like here, I was able to schedule oil changing because my client canceled. Well, she rescheduled and I found time. You know, like I had a physical therapy appointment today, but I was just like, I'm not feeling it, I'm not going. But I had to look at my schedule and I could see where it was going to work for me. And I actually would have missed this anyway because this first client ran over. So I need this on my weekly. I need a timed on my weekly. I can write my clients in. I can look, even here, I had put over here on this side, I had put my cleaning schedule. I think I'm going to get rid of that because. Being that I don't have a lot going on, I just really have work, bills, and trying to get a cleaning schedule. So I wrote everything here first, but then I realized, hey, I got some extra room. So I was able to include my um, cleaning schedule, things I need to do, what's to do, and then look, I got my AM routine because this is like a daily to me. I always write my AM routine if I gotta work, if I'm gonna take a nap, this, all that can be timed in. So I get to experiment with time blocking. I got meals over here and I got bills due down here and I just put a little slash and put the date. But I think I'm gonna put bills due up here so that I can put the date you know, when they're due. I'm going to probably leave meals here and then I'm just going to leave this open or either put my cleaning schedule or you know, like if it's something extra. But I think this is going to be the insert for me. I really hope it comes dated. It don't have to, but I hope it comes dated because I'll be using it. Okay, and then the back there's grid. And I was so confused about the grid, but then I realized, hey, all that stuff that I had... Like right here, we'll go here. So I got it to buy list, business. I can even make a grocery list on here and I can switch it up. And I actually want to do it horizontal. I want to use more stickers, but last night I was just trying to figure my groove for it. And I'm in love with this insert. I am in love, as small as it is. So it's not even a lot of deco. So it's really going to be a whole lot of minimal planning and beats. Okay, enough about the weeklies. I'm sorry that was so long, but I had to break it down like why I have so many in here because I'm just trying to figure out my groove. So I think I'm going to be using these at least for a few months. I, I, I'm, I'm going to definitely be trying it. So you'll see a plan with me of these next week. Okay, um, overview dashboard, cloth and paper. I took those stickers from Sweet Caress, put them over here so I can kind of know what each one means. This was kind of like a trigger list for me, business, personal, finances, and health. And then these are the rest of those weeklies from cloth and paper. I should take these out. I think I'm gonna do that. I gotta make me another little thing with you. Okay, and then we get into my dailies. And again, daily plan, same thing. And these cards from Cloth and Paper, I thought it was perfect with the fall. And then this little board, I don't know, it's storyboard. And I saw someone, I think it was Plan to Create, she had these listed there. And I said, oh, this is perfect. So again, another kind of like trigger list brain dump for me but on this board, on this little plastic, and I absolutely love it. Um, these are dailies I had made. No, these aren't in the shop because I was playing with them again. Again, I was going through a daily thing like, ah, I want to do some dailies. So I had to play with different layouts and things, so I'm just testing them out. So these are my dailies. Another, I know y'all like Yoshida, how many task cards and trigger lists, but I... Again, I have ADHD. I'm, um, I also have compulsive behavior. I have excessive behavior. And so I have to see things sometimes more than once. And I write a bunch of sticky notes. So this is pretty much a task card, but it's also an overview. Supposedly take me to the day, but I keep forgetting. And then here is, see a meal idea. It's stuck here. I don't know why. Um, top task. Again, these are like brain dumps. It's a lot of brain dumps in here. So and then this key thing is here. I don't know why I put it here, but it's here. But then I do like these dailies from Cloth and Paper. And I think I decided that I'm going to give up my dailies. 
I have some that I like, but I think I'm just gonna roll with these. I'm, I'm really gonna give up kind of on inserts. I think these budget inserts I just did were maybe my last because I think I'm just gonna leave it alone. It's just not my forte, um, but I can work them budget inserts. But anything else is just not my thing. So anywho, um, yeah, so these are cloth and paper inserts for daily. This is what it was. And see, I love when I have days like this when I just use pen, check marks, maybe some highlighter, you know. Here we go. That's it. And that's all for the dailies. And then here are my dailies. Matter of fact, I think I got some more of these. So I'm going to take these out because my planner is super chunky and I'm trying to figure out why. But now I see why I got a little bit of everything. And then these are from September. And I love the saying, show me how good it gets. Y'all should try it. I'm telling you, wonders have been happening. So anyway, this is another dashboard I created on Canva. This image is on Canva. You can just print it on some vellum and voila, there you go. Um, I created this one on Canva and I just wanted something. At the time, I was looking for peace in my life and I was um, creating late at night and this word just came to me to be you know serene and at peace and so i created this dashboard with this picture i think this came from canva as well and then my definition of serenity is to be at peace with oneself <sighs> cloth and paper and then this is cloth and paper wellness dashboard i think it came in one of their boxes this is from my minimal planner i thought this was so cute it was just like simple but it looked like a receipt so yeah check her out my minimal planner and then another one of those cards from cloth and paper and then i need to get rid of this this is my gratitude list i didn't do it every day but i definitely want to keep up with this so i need to find some more gratitudes i'm gonna take that out and then my doctor's appointments insert i don't know where i you know some people don't like the name on the insert but I can't remember if I don't if I don't see the name I'm not gonna remember where I got it from so anywho cloth and paper cloth and paper cloth and paper I love this dashboard it came in the recent sub box I love it because I'm a green girl love green let me see let me clean up some of this mess And um, this is another half page, and I use this for my workouts. Um, I haven't done these, but this is just a breakdown of what I would like to do. But then I hurt my knee, so it is. That's what it is. Uh, skincare routine. I have my own insert, but I got this one from, I think, my minimal planner. It looks like one of hers. And uh, this is my skincare insert. I need to fill it out. And then here's the habit tracker. This is, see, this is from Infinite Lotus. Lord, this is from May Earl. <laughs> this is from September. Ooh, I need to do better. Um, and then these are my meals. So this dashboard, I believe, is from Glitter, a Glittery Life Plans. And then this is my meal insert that I made. This may be in the shop, not sure. And I like it for myself because, um, of course, I'm. this is from June. I just don't want to take it out because I want to replace it. So I need it in here to know that I need to replace it. But now that I'm putting my meals in my weekly, I think I'm going to take that out too. But I love meal ideas. So I created this just for myself. And it's real simple. That's why I don't sell it because I think it's just simple. Anybody could do it with a blank piece of paper if they wanted to. But when I cook something and maybe I've never cooked it before or... Um, it's a dinner and it was pretty good. I write it down so that when I'm struggling to figure out what to cook, I, mean, I don't even have to go on Pinterest. I can just look over here and say, hey, um, salmon and broccoli sounds good for the night. Or, and it's, I'm building it up so that when I'm trying to meal plan, I can just look at this. So tonight I had an idea. My friend was talking about fried hot dogs and onions. And I was like, girl, I never had that. But I've had some broth swerps and onions. So tonight I made broth swerps and onions and peppers 
and grill them on like the inside grill over top of the stove and get fries and i only had one but it was delicious with some mustard and then tomorrow is chili so i will make sure i wrote down chili with ground turkey and then i've kind of planned my meals for the week but um wrote them down so that when i go to put them down for the week i can remember and so it's another meal idea see i'm already onto another page so i got a couple of those in there and then again show me how good lord show me how good it can get and then this is cloth and paper uh, cloth and paper this is a little half insert and then this is my spending tracker i do like that but i think i'm gonna update it um i haven't been writing since september but then this is the purchase tracker from cloth and paper spending tracker and then here are my inserts and i don't really I'm going to be honest. I don't use these in here. I tried, and that was the last time I used it. I may keep a monthly in here, though. Um, but, so, I'm going to take these out as well because I need to make room. But um, they do, as you can see, they fit in A6, and it's like the perfect, perfect size. Okay, let me add this here. And I just pretty much have this on here just to keep everything together and then these are orders trust me Whew, thank god i haven't wrote in here in a good little while and then this is an afterpay tracker by peanuts planner co this one here these orders i think this one is from simple and trendy co and then this is my weekly check-in i think i'm gonna get rid of this i used to love this but i think i'm gonna make this into a half sheet and get rid of this all together and i just wrote down what is due this week in here because i used to look at it when i'm not in front of my budget planner this is just helpful for me so i think i'm gonna turn this into a half sheet i think um just more half pages i can take this out because i used this when i did i'm gonna keep it because i did this when i used my taxes so maybe it'll be a reminder when i get ready to do my taxes um, this was a Cooper and Lucy, uh, clip, I think, but, um, yeah, I think that was a freebie. And then this is from D's Plans on Instagram, and then I made this, and this, oh, goodness, you all know, what's her name? I can't, it's been a while since I got one of these, but I just really added this today because I found it in a purse. And I was like, oh, I forgot all about it. It must have flicked off. So again, this is a business dashboard um, that I made. And I have it um, washi taped on there. Help me out. Y'all know who makes those. I can't think of her name off my head, top of my head. So again, some more half pages. I love half pages. And I was actually, uh, I'm trying to remember who was it. Was it at home Quita who talked about the half pages? And I love half pages. Um, sticky note, this all is cloth and paper. This is cloth and paper's contact list. And my notes section. And again, I made this dashboard. I don't know why this is there. Oh, because it's a note. Um, cloth and paper, and it just got notes on the back. And I just have some important stuff covered there. I've always had that covered. Um, notes. Oh, and these notes are in my um shop um i like bold and a little dot grid so i created these um these are just some stock notes i'm taking matter of fact i need to call my friend we're trying to start something as far as these stocks and we should have been doing that on tuesday so it'll be stock day um anyway more note pages these are created in my shop they're there i think and these are cloth and paper and then that other fly leaf I did get some rid of some stuff. So here, I just have my total stickers. This is what I use in my salon section. These are my finance teeny stickers. And then here, these also came from Cat Espresso, if I can get them out. And I got this idea from the planner spot. But I don't have nothing in here. It's another one in here somewhere. But anywho, um, yeah. They're supposed to be like that so you can see them. But they're a little further down. And then I just keep a couple other stickers here and sticky notes. This is from Sweet Caress. This is from Coco Mini Plans. Those, these are mine. These are mine. Mine. 
pretty much mine. All of this is mine except for these micro dots. These came from Perfectly Imperfect Paper Tree. And mine, mine, all of this rest is mine except for Rose Shadow Collection. These are some, well, some of the very first stickers I made, but look how small these are. And I thought they were so small, but now cloth and paper makes them small like this. And then um, my shop and my shop. I love these total stickers of nothing else. I definitely need these because I use these in my salon section. So I actually just started another one because I had an empty one in here. So I'm hoping this is not long. I have not even looked at the time. I've just been chatting away so yeah that's all that i have here and I, again this didn't come with a pen loop i didn't want a pen loop because the way the lady ordered it um and see she's a little dirty but as i was telling them when i first got this planner on instagram i don't baby my planners um i feel kind of bad for not babying this one because um she was expensive but i've paid nearly the same for something for my last one so and the only thing is like a couple of days later, I ran outside and it was raining. So you can kind of see the rain marks on her, but I thought they would go away. But I'm just like, I don't really care. Um, I like a, something to look like it's been used. And as you can see, she's thick. And I don't have no intentions on selling her. She still smells amazing. So, yeah. So I'm just waiting for her to get her patina in. I do need to update. Oh, and all of these come from Kubo and Lucy. Y'all, I have a whole, I have a whole thing over here to the side. I got that dark, but my battery got low. Well, no, my storage got low. That's why I hardly like to do a flip on here. But anywho, that is it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you're new here and you enjoyed today's video and you would love to see more content like this and all that budget and minimal planning, let me know. Also, leave a message in the comments section. Give me a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button and don't forget that notification bell. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.